Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Silent Hill Shy Memories. That was friggin' crazy. Like, just everything. Sweet jeez. I got no idea where I am. Don't really know how I got here. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know what happened to that weird girl we found. God knows where. Open. Come on. God, please open. Are you okay? Who are you? You're not from the hospital. No. <laughs> I had an accident. That yours? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not making any sense, am I? It's okay. Let's get you inside. You need help. I want to go home. I have medicine and gauze there. I'm a nurse. It's I a few tell. blocks north. I just need to rest. I'm headed that way. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm oh. feeling better. <sighs> Don't worry. Head wounds always bleed a lot. Lots of blood vessels close to the surface. It's nothing serious. I can clean up back in my place. Lisa. I'm Harry. Harry Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Not. I'm always saying goofy things that come into my head. <laughs> From concussion and all. You just had a fucking... Not an F. Sorry, I almost said the F word. But you've had a concussion woman. You should probably see a hospital person. Like a doctor? You call? I'm too tired to feel it. You know the average ER nurse gets less than five hours sleep a night? I read that in the newsletter. Ronald Reagan ran the country on five hours of sleep a night. I saw that on TV. Yeah, but he got to sit down a lot. A nurse is on her feet all day. And night. I don't need a man in my life. I need a really good podiatrist. What is it you do, Harry? Well, not a podiatrist. Figures. What do you do? I'm a writer. Wow. Oh. I didn't know Silent Hill had a famous writer. <laughs> Hardly famous. Have I heard of any of your books? My mom reads a lot. Bet she's read one. Maybe. I wrote a romance series called Longing for the Moon. That was popular with moms. Romance? My agent tells me I have great insight into the female imagination. You could put me in one of your books. Life and death drama in the ER. One girl search for love. The nurse falls for the dashing doctor? There are no dashing doctors. They're all alcoholics and perspire <laughs> too much. I always fall for the guys who look like my dad, and then regret it the next day. Cute. If you were a real writer, you'd be taking notes. Don't you all carry notebooks to write everything down? Not me. I've got a photographic memory. Not really, Mr. Forgetful. Freak, I gotta write all your stuff down for Not you, like phone now. numbers. You still feeling okay? Yeah. Fine. Just a blood loss come from my hey, head. Tell me about your daughter. Uh, Cheryl? She's, uh... She's young, bright, happy. Likes collecting stuff, you know, bits and pieces, bugs. She loves bugs. Bugs? Like dirty, creepy bugs? No, no, butterflies, pretty bugs. She has a collection. Dead ones? Yeah. Still creepy. Not really. You seem to see the creepy in everything. Is that a nurse thing or just you? Definitely a nurse thing. We have a unique outlook on life. Whatever happened to Bedside Manor? We still got that. For special cases. Keep spinning my flashlight around because all this is exposition. Did I just see something? No. I'm just going crazy. Wow, you live in an alleyway. Apparently. Here we are. You and your head trauma. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. I wonder what that the is. The landlord has a thing for nurses. Well, that's good. Unless it's a bad thing. No, that's not so good. I'm just gonna get out of these I things. like the painting. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes. Come on, sit. Sit! Good boy. I like your purple shirt. Where'd you hell you... Oh, yeah, you stole it. Watch some TV if you want. 
I won't be long. I'd rather read. I'm not a big fan of TV. <sighs> well. You know, last time I had a guy in my apartment, it was summer. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of TV, wave. to be honest. Now it's winter. Freaky early, but still. Time flies. Oh, that's her in the in the window. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I like that magazine. I'm a bigger reader than a TV watcher. I almost never watch TV anymore. Wow, you really covered up that head trauma pretty good. You know, you're a nice guy, Harry. Thanks. Thanks. I feel safe <laughs> around you. You okay? <sighs> Headache. Probably from the concussion. Fetch me some pills from the bathroom. Check the cabinet. Get me some yellow ones. Sure. Good description. Get me the yellow ones. Okay, um... Where's your bathroom, by the way? You know, you didn't really tell me anything. You said, fetch the pills from the bathroom. Okay. Which pills? The yellow pills. Well, are they the same as the red pills? Or the blue pills? Will it take me back to reality? It'd be nice. I'm still carrying my flashlight, apparently. Look in the cabinet. Bottom shelf. Oh, my head. Sorry, music boxes always get me. I'm sure maybe this is cabinet. Uh, uh, are these yellow? Let's find out. They look yellow. Let's take a few. Because a few pills are... Well, <laughs> there's an invisible wall. There we go. That seems good. Oh, the music box opened up. And I'm going to steal, uh... Infinite Jest, apparently. I'm just stealing stuff. Hope you don't mind. Let's go go for some pills. Here you go. I found these mysterious Thanks. pills in your medicine cabinet. Hope they're the right ones. Water? No, fine. Self medication. <laughs> the one true perk of the healthcare profession. It's not just coffee that keeps us going 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> Pet okay. pills? I'm going to sleep now. You let yourself out. Um, thanks for thanking me. Apparently, five minutes of warmth is good enough for a nurse. You feel guilty about everything. When we I all lived didn't in say that. And wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Do I have to color Food, again? Water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If only I hadn't said that. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. You're creeping me out as a psychiatrist, by the way. Okay, this is my favorite. Let me introduce some friends of mine. This is King Harold. His daughter. The chaste Celestine, a prince called Wilhelm, and a bull. He doesn't have a name. How about prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but okay. she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine okay. begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must. I had to pause here for a moment because I'm about to run out of time again, and when we come back, more Sun Hill Shire memories. Until then, until then.